Hey everyone, I'm Marina from Pineapple Yarn and I'm here to share with you what I have been working on this week. Before I jump into what I've been working on, I want to talk about what I'm wearing. This is the Emma Top number no. 2 by Suzanne Mueller and I love this top. I wear it all the time. And I knit this from one of my favorite yarns, which is by Universal Yarns called Bamboo Pop. So I'm going to stand up and show you. It is so cute. It is, uh, it's, it was just a very interesting knit and it has kind of like this, I don't know if it's, I can't remember what the rib is called, if it's kind of like a half brioche rib, something like that. So it kept it really interesting and it has a lot of shaping as you can see like in here and then down on the bottom there's like a, a little bit of side slits at the bottom just for comfort and it it's a great top i wear it all the time and it turned out to be just a really fun knit so i'm wearing it today bamboo pop 2 is just a great yarn for warm weather and that's why i'm wearing it today super hot and humid here so it really is just a great garment for summer so i'm wearing this today and that's really it for knits that i can wear at this point of the year it everything else it needs to be a little less humid a little cooler to wear i have a nearly finished object that i have been working on this week and this is called the ottoman alta poncho by selena of wayfarer yarns designs and here it is it's going to be so blown out Here's the super, super squishy cowl neck. This is just a really nice design and um, definitely one of the reasons that I chose this pattern. Um, it was knit, I knit it with a size 10 and a half, or no, a 10 needle because it calls for a 10 and a half, but as you can see, it folds down and it's just super wide and drapey. So it kind of drapes down like that, which is just so nice. Exactly what I was looking for. And then it's a simple raglan design. Again, this is all natural undyed yarn. <laughs> so it's going to be kind of hard to see. But I basically, it's basically a raglan, raglan top down design. And you just follow the increases and then it ends at a double seed stitch hem. Let me see if I can... Again, I don't know if you're even going to be able to see this. It is slightly wanting to flip up just because I have not blocked this yet. This was a beautiful, organic, a non-superwash, undyed yarn. It is an Aran weight yarn, and I can get this um, where I get all of my yarn wholesale. And so it was just a base that was available. I am not going to be carrying it in the shop, but it fit the pattern, and so it ended up perfect. So I think it's really beautiful. This is for my 11 year old daughter. She really wanted this color of poncho with a cowl neck and she's tried it on. It fits great. So hopefully in the, uh, in the blocking process, everything stays relatively the same size and everything. I think it will because it is non super wash. I don't anticipate it stretching as much as you say, you know, a super wash wool would. So I'm very glad to have this off the needles. It definitely, I mean, you can see, I'll just fold it in. It's obviously in half now, but I'm gonna fold the hem in half again. And I will show you how wide this is. So this is in, folded in quarters. This is the width of the hem. It was many hundreds of stitches. I can't remember. So by the time this was done, I was just done. I was, I was ready for this to be done as I said last week, but, um, but yeah, this is just, it's really beautiful. I think it's going to be so pretty on my daughter and, um, yeah, I think it'll be really, really nice. But
So I'm sorry I'm not going to try it on, but it um, it will be really, really pretty on her. But that is all I have been working on. I need to add a couple more mini skeins to my granny stripe blanket, and I'm using my mini mystery club for that, and so I need to add on to that. But I really don't have any other projects on the needles right now. Um, I have a few baby sweaters I need to make, so I might cast one of those on. We'll just see. That would be actually a fabulous project because it is warm <laughs> as well. <laughs> So a little baby sweater might be great. I need to cast a few on in some neutral colors. So I'm thinking maybe, I mean, undyed would absolutely be beautiful, but after this undyed sweater, I just, I cannot, I, I can't do any more natural undyed for a while. <laughs> um, I may do, you know, like a soft green, gray, something like that. Um, yeah, we'll have to see. I might do a little stash diving and see see exactly what I have. Maybe I can use something from stash. So next week I will definitely fill you in on what I have been working on there. But um, just so you all know, I am going to be removing the advent calendar listing from my shop. And so if you have not ordered yours yet, I would recommend it because this will be the last time that I will have the add-ons available, the candles, the full skeins, and I will later on in the year, probably in, you know, end of October, beginning of November, I will be placing the listing back up with any extra calendars that I have as just a ready to ship option, but it won't include any of the add-ons. So if you're interested in any add-ons, definitely um, rush on over to the shop and check that out because I will be taking them down by this weekend. So after Friday, I will be taking that listing down. And just as a reminder, this, my clubs for the shop, this will be the last month you'll be able to, re to order them in 2022. So if you're interested, definitely pick one of those up. I will link all of those below. I hope you're doing so well wherever you are and enjoying all of your crafting, whether that's knitting, crochet, sewing. I hope it's all just a really joyful experience and a great stress reliever. I will see you next week with another episode, but until then, I hope you have an awesome day. Bye!